Hello guys! In this video, we are going to discuss on how to determine whether the given differential equation is an exact equation. Now we have here an example of a differential equation and we are going to determine if this equation is an exact one. First and foremost, this symbol is a symbol for partial differentiation. This is a symbol for partial differentiation. Now, this symbol indicates a partial differentiation and using this symbol to get the derivative of a function having two or more variables. For example, if you have here m of x, y, dx plus n of x, y, dy is equal to 0. Now, we have here our m function having two variables x and y. So, we are going to get the partial derivative of m with respect to y and treating x variable as a constant. While our n function is beside dy and we are going to get the partial derivative of n with respect to x treating y as a constant. Now, if you all try to observe with our first given differential equation, our m function is the function d beside dx, and our n function is a function beside dy. So therefore, this function here is an m function, and this function here inside the parentheses is our n function, having two variables, x and y. So therefore, m will be equal to 3 x squared plus y squared and the other one is that our n here is equal to 2xy now we are going to get the partial derivative of m so we have here partial derivative of m with respect to y in short we are going to treat x variable as a constant so if you are going to treat x as a constant. So a constant 3 multiplied by a constant is a constant. So what is the derivative of the constant, the first term, that will become 0? So what is the derivative of y squared? This is 2y using our rule. Now, next, we are going to get the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So at this point, we are going to treat y variable as a constant. In short, this can be written as 2yx. Anyway, this is commutative multiplication. Now, treating y as a constant, meaning this is 2y, this 2y is a constant. So a constant multiplied by a variable is a constant, which is equal to 2y. So you have to be careful because on this part, our x is a constant here. And this part, our y will serve as a constant. Now, are they having the same result? Yes. Therefore, we would say that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is just equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. And the given differential equation denoted as DE is an exact equation. So both are the same. So we could say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Another example. We have here 
3x plus y minus 1 dy plus the quantity of 2x cubed plus 3y dx is equal to 0. Now we are going to base that from our symbol here or equation or standard equation of the def differential equation. Now our first term here is having um, dx and the second term here is having dy. Now first we are going to arrange this such that having the first term of dx and the second term of dy. So we are going to exchange places. We can do that because this is commutative addition. So we have here the quantity of 2x cubed plus 3y dx plus 3x plus y minus 1 dy is equal to 0. So our m here is now equal to 2x cubed plus 3y. And our n here is 3x plus y minus 1. So we have m is now equal to 2x cubed plus 3y. And the other one is n, which is now equal to 3x plus y minus 1. So we're going to get the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So at this point, we are going to treat x as a constant. So 2 times a constant is still a constant. So what is the derivative of the first term constant? That's 0. So what is the derivative of 3y? That's 3. Then the other one, getting the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So we are going to treat y here as a constant. So what is the derivative of a constant? Treating y as a constant, that's 0. The third term is also a constant that is 0. In short, we have just only 3x, the first term. So what is the derivative of 3x? 3. Are they the same? Yes. Therefore, the partial derivative of m with respect to y is now equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, we would say that the differential equation is exact. The given differential equation is exact because both partial derivatives of functions m and n are the same. Thank you for watching.